Before installing your FSM3 series SuperMag insertion electromagnetic flow meter, please be sure to have the following readily available. Along with the manual and meter calibration certificate, your FSM will come shipped with the flow meter transmitter electronics enclosure, the transmitter mounting bracket kit, the flow sensor assembly, electrode and coil wire cable, the flow sensor stem, hot tap adapter fitting, the hot tap adapter preload housing, and the flow sensor enclosure. Before continuing with installation, please ensure that the serial number on the calibration certificate, flow meter enclosure, and the transmitter all match. Here is the inside of the hot tap adapter preload housing so you can visualize the mechanics behind it. The stem locking collet nut provides the final stem locking to complete the flow meter installation. The preload compression fitting sets the correct spring tension in the preload assembly. The preload set screw will keep the preload fitting in place after flow meter installation, and the stem locking collar holds the stem against the preload assembly to maintain the proper force to press the flow sensor against the bottom of the pipe. When choosing a location for the flow meter installation, it is imperative to take account for straight run requirements, overhead clearance, and accessibility. Straight run requirements vary dependent upon upstream obstructions. Overhead clearance varies based on the size of the meter and is important for installation and removal, and the location should be accessible for personnel to perform periodic maintenance. Please be sure to follow the guidelines outlined here and in your manual for location selection. A typical installation kit for steel piping systems is shown. The location requirements discussed in the previous slide should be taken into account before installing and you should ensure that it is located on the top 240 degrees section of a horizontal piping run. To ensure correct installation, the access hole into the pipe must be at least 1 inch in diameter minimum and the isolation valve stack height must be 7 inches or less. This measurement must be taken from the top of the pipe without insulation to the top of the isolation valve. Onicon offers a wide range of installation hardware kits and we recommend their use as they are specifically designed for Onicon flow meters. Before proceeding with installation, please review the yellow instruction card provided with your meter in its entirety and follow the steps. When you are ready to install your FSM, use a 5 8 open end wrench to loosen the stem locking collet nut. Use a 1 8 inch Allen wrench to loosen the preload fitting set screw. Use the 3 16 inch T-handle Allen wrench to loosen the stem locking collar and ensure that it floats freely in the hot top adapter preload housing. Slide the flow sensor down and out of the hot top adapter fitting. Inspect the sensor and confirm it is free of any dirt, debris, oils, or other chemicals. If required, clean with isopropyl alcohol. With the flow sensor fully extended, use a one inch open end or crescent wrench to tighten the preload fitting completely. When done correctly, the preload fitting should be flush with the hot top adapter preload housing. Back the preload fitting out of the preload housing by turning the fitting counterclockwise one and a quarter turns. This will set the appropriate preload compression when the meter is installed in the piping system. Fully retract the flow sensor into the hot top adapter fitting Apply thread seal tape to the one inch adapter threads, ensuring no tape extends beyond the end of the hot tap adapter. Begin threading the hot tap adapter fitting into the fully closed isolation valve by hand. Use a pipe wrench to complete the installation of the hot tap adapter fitting into the valve. Be sure to tighten just enough to prevent leaks. Do not over tighten as you could potentially deform the fitting. Slowly open the isolation valve and confirm there are no leaks before proceeding. Before continuing, please note that the force required to insert the sensor into the pipe is equal to 10% of the system pressure. Make sure you have adequate support before inserting the flow sensor. Once the hot tap adapter has been installed into the isolation valve, confirm the valve has been fully opened before inserting the flow sensor into the pipe. As you insert the sensor, use the enclosure to align the flow meter with the pipe and continue to apply and maintain downward force on the flow meter even after the foot has contacted the far side of the pipe. While holding it in place, use the 3 16 inch T-handle Allen wrench to tighten the stem locking collar. 
Once it has been tightened, the downward force on the flow sensor can be removed and the locking collar will keep the sensor in place. Measure the distance from the top of the pipe without insulation to the bottom of the flow sensor enclosure. This distance should match the dimension needed for your specific size meter based on the table here and in your manual, confirming that the flow sensor has been fully inserted. Use a 1 inch open end or crescent wrench to tighten the preload fitting until it is flush with the hot tap adapter, approximately 1.25 turns. Use the flow sensor enclosure to maintain the correct orientation while tightening the preload fitting. Use a 5 8 open end wrench to tighten the stem locking collet nut while holding the flow sensor enclosure to maintain alignment with the pipe and then use the 1 8 inch Allen wrench to tighten the preload fitting set screw. As a final check, measure to confirm that the insertion dimension has not changed. The flow meter has now been completely installed. Please note that installing the transmitter onto the meter can be done before or after installation of the flow meter and in multiple orientations dependent upon your installation. Refer to your manual for other orientations not shown in this video. To install the transmitter, install the integral mount bracket on the hot tap adapter fitting as shown. Insert the four screws provided into the back of the transmitter enclosure. Move the transmitter enclosure into position on the mounting plate, fully seated in the mounting slots. Align the transmitter enclosure on the hot tap adapter before tightening the clamping screws. As always, if you feel you have further questions, please contact Onicon Technical Support and we will be happy to assist you.